The constant development of new technologies changes the way societies work and what drives them. During the last few decades, digital technologies have taken over and shifted how we live our everyday lives. One example is the Internet of Things, known as IoT. The IoT is a giant network of connected devices that collect and share data from all over the world. Billions of devices that are connected to the Internet share information with each other and are used by millions of people in their everyday lives. The Internet of Things is changing the way we interact with our surroundings using data and sophisticated sensors and chips to communicate and transmit valuable data. Through the Internet of Things, industries can be developed automated solutions to make services better. For example, people can use trackers to monitor different activities and gather data that can lead to better outcomes. Thanks to IoT, people can wear smart wearable devices, such as watches and jewelry, to track their heartbeat, calorie count, exercise, and more, as a way to take care of their health. By wearing these devices and collecting this data, people can have a better understanding of how their bodies work, improvements they make, and specific information that might be relevant if they get ill. Doctors can access important data, such as person's heart rate, exercise habits, etc., that allows them to provide a more accurate diagnosis of the problem and solve it faster. Additionally, the Internet of Things allows people to live more comfortable lives by making tasks such as driving a car or taking care of your plants easier. But how do all these devices share data and communicate with each other? And how do we put this information to work? Let's take a deeper look by using IoT systems to take care of our plants. By using temperature, moisture, and light sensors, we can get feedback on how our plants are doing and what they might be lacking. By using the sensors, we can measure different variables and properties of the plant's surroundings. And through the Arduino board, we send this information via Wi-Fi to the Arduino IoT Cloud, where we can see the history of the measurements and program actions accordingly. In the Arduino IoT Cloud, we can monitor the sensors and control different actuators that allow us to take care of our plants remotely. The information or data that continuously come to the cloud as feedback allows us to automate the care of our plants, since it establishes patterns that need to be followed for our plants to feel good. So let's say that we have a certain type of plant that thrives when the temperature is less than 25 degrees and needs to be watered twice a week. By monitoring the plant and constantly gathering data, we can create a system that alerts us when the temperature is under or over 25 degrees or when the plant needs more water by measuring the moisture level of the soil. Additionally, we can create a system that can water the plant automatically depending on the moisture content of the soil or that can either increase or decrease the strength of the lamps according to what the plant needs. When devices communicate and transmit information to the cloud, the data gets stored online, and this allows others to access that information. Thanks to this, we can also access important information that allows us to identify patterns and automate tasks and services. As a result, traditional jobs are disappearing and becoming automated. But at the same time, the Internet of Things is opening up endless new career opportunities. It is therefore important for us to be prepared, starting in the classroom with our students. The Arduino Explore IoT Kit has been created to provide a comprehensive understanding of the Internet of Things. The kit helps you get advanced high school and college students started with the fundamental concepts of the Internet of Things quickly and easily. Its serious technology made simple as it is based on open hardware and plug-and-play connections. For more information, click on the link below.